Hey guys, Ben from ProFixer here, and today I'll be walking you through a repair on a Samsung T580. The T580 is Samsung's Tab A 10.1 inch line. This one is a micro USB, and this is actually the particular report that we pulled out. A pretty small little piece. Um, very common to have these on tablets as well as other smartphones. A lot of the higher end Samsung phones are using USB C, but a lot of their uh, standard smartphones are still using micro USB like this here, and a lot of their tablets too. This particular one is a pretty simple repair to do. Um, you do need to know how to actually solder, um, so it is a little bit higher skilled that way, but for someone that does know how to solder, it's a pretty simple uh, run-of-the-mill repair. I'll be walking you through that, which requires pulling the back housing off, removing the motherboard, and then taking it to the solder bench to put on a new charge port. So, without further ado, let's check it out. On the T580, you're going to want to use a metal tool to remove the back housing. Uh, you'll fit it between the bezel and the back housing edge to kind of pop it off of its little clips. And eventually it'll come off as long as you're careful. Just kind of work slowly and make sure that you don't pry it too hard. It'll come off pretty easily. Remove the battery and all the other flexes and remove the front camera. And then start to remove the screws. Once you remove those, you'll actually find the motherboard is actually pretty loose inside of the housing. There's no real hard clips on there. Um, and then you're going to want to solder the new port in. This is a little more advanced, um, but it's still pretty easy to do. Here I'm using some flux and hot air to remove the port. I'm wicking away all the old solder in preparation to add the new solder and cleaning it up with some isopropyl alcohol. Um, here I'm actually uh, test fitting the new port, make sure it sits all flat before adding in a new solder. And since it's set flat, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of solder to those ground planes and then to each of the data pins and power pins. We're going to hot air the port back on, and then we're going to touch it up with an actual soldering iron to ensure that each of the pins is fully soldered. You'll also need to solder the anchors on the edges. These don't have any kind of data or any kind of power running through them. Uh, they're really just for rigidity. So go ahead and put a little bit of solder on those. If everything doesn't look perfect, as long as there's no bridging, it's okay. Because you're going to hit it with some hot air afterwards to kind of reflow the whole port. And this kind of smooths out all your solder joints and lets everything flow to the proper places like it should be. Go ahead and uh, scrub it all off with some isopropyl alcohol, put it all back in the housing and start to clip back in your flexes, making sure to put the battery in last. Uh, I'm going to put the screws in to hold the motherboard down, and there's these little green pieces of tape that you took off in the beginning. Go ahead and put those back over the flexes. That just keeps them plugged in if the device would ever fall or kind of be jarred or something like that. Plugging it in, we can see on our power drive that we're getting 1.52 amps through the charge port, which is a pretty good rate and uh, this is definitely uh, good for this particular tablet. I'm going to go ahead and put this back housing on now, which is pretty easy. Just kind of line it up and start to squeeze gently around the edges and clip all those back in, making sure that you know you don't have any gaps around the edges. Testing it one more time, 1.52 amps, which is great. So this one's all fixed. I appreciate everyone that stuck around and watched the whole repair. The Samsung T580 or the Tab A 10.1 is a pretty easy device to repair if you know how to solder. If you don't, don't let that deter you. Check out the link in the description. We teach online micro soldering courses covering more advanced things like audio IC, touch IC, running jumpers, reballing, the whole nine yards, as well as all the basic things like charge ports on this T580. We'd love to have you in our community and give you access to our knowledge base, which is the first of its kind for the electronic industry, where we provide solutions, background, and full layouts of repairs so that you're fully prepared to take on anything that comes into your store. You can actually get a free account, which will give you access to certain sections of our online training portal. Once again, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for our channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We'd love to see you there. See you later.